Hello friends, I'm Miss Deanna and I'm here at the Bell Road branch of the Newburgh Chandler Public Library and we're going to imagine a story. Today's story is about a fox and a stork. Boys and girls, this is not really a stork. This is a blue heron, but he has long legs and a long beak like a stork. Well, maybe you just need to hear the story to figure it all out. Our story this week is called The Fox and the Stork. And like all good stories, it begins with once upon a time, there was a fox and a stork. Now the fox thought he was very clever and smart and funny. But not all of the animals in the animal kingdom thought he was as funny as he thought he was. The fox would sometimes play tricks on his animal friends. One day the fox said to the stork, will you come to dinner tonight? The stork was so pleased. Why, yes, said the stork, I would be thrilled to come to dinner. And because the stork was such a polite gentleman, he said, like all polite people do, is there anything I can bring? The fox said, no, your company is enough. Just come to dinner tonight around six. And the stork agreed. So that evening at six o'clock, the stork arrived and was invited into the fox's home. Now the fox knew that the stork had to eat with this long pointy beak. And the fox prepared a very thin soup, but he only served it in a shallow pan. Well, the poor stork could only get the tip of his beak into that shallow pan. And as try as he could, he couldn't get any of that thin soup to stay in his beak long enough for him to swallow. He was very hungry. The fox, however, leaned over and using his tongue, lapped up all of that thin broth soup and commented on how delicious it was. Fabulous soup. Oh, stork, you don't know what you're missing and kind of rubbed it in, that poor old stork couldn't eat any of it. The fox laughed and laughed at this trick he had played on the stork. Well, the stork, understanding that the fox had played this trick on him, didn't get angry, but instead said, Mr. Fox, would you like to come to dinner at my house? The fox, chuckling to himself, but also a little bit curious, said, well, yes, yes, I would. So the next evening, the stork prepared dinner and the stork prepared a nice chunky stew. And he put out the nice chunky stew in a very tall vase, a bottle with a narrow top. And he had no trouble putting his long beak down into that narrow bottle and getting all the fabulous chunks of vegetable and meat out of that stew. The fox, however, could only lick around the edges of the, of the bottle and had no luck getting any of the food. The fox realized at that point that the joke he had played on the crane wasn't funny at all. It was actually kind of mean. And from that point on, he tried to be a little bit kinder to his other animal friends. The end. This story, friends, is one of Aesop's fables. And like all fables, it has a lesson. And the lesson in this story is to treat others the way we would like to be treated ourselves. We're all a little bit different. Our bodies are shaped different. We look different. We do things differently. We have different abilities. 
And it's not really a very nice thing to make fun of or take advantage of each other's differences. When I was young, I had a very nice little book. I still have it. And in it, it has a picture of two little girls picking apples. Well, this little girl is much taller than this little girl. But because this little girl is nice, she's reaching up to pick the tallest apples because she knows her friend can't reach those tall apples. It's a way of being kind. Here's my friend Dog. Now I know that Dog doesn't have thumbs like I do. So poor old Dog, there's no way that he can turn on the faucet and pour his own water. He can't open the cabinet and pour his own food. So to be kind, I make sure that Dog's food and water dish are full when they need to be. I was telling this story last night to my friend Emily, and Emily said, hmm, that kind of reminds me of a boomerang. A boomerang is a special kind of, mm, like a frisbee. You throw it, but if you learn how to throw it the right way, the boomerang will spin around and come back to you. So you can either boomerang a lot of good things out there, and hopefully good things will come to you, or you can boomerang a lot of bad things out there, Hmm, and then bad things might come to you. These are things to keep in mind, and they remind us again of that story of the fox and the stork. We have a couple of these books in the library. These are versions of the story. This one is kind of nice because this one is actually an early reader book. So if you are learning to read, this is a good book for you to practice with. This one, the author has taken Aesop's fable and added a lot more detail to it. It's also a very good book. So I would like to invite you this week to enjoy some good books Enjoy your friends and family. And until we meet again, we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands and stomp our feet. We wave goodbye like this. Bye for now.